At the Paris Air Show 2015, Embraer announced a total of 50 new firm orders from four customers. Colorful Guizhou from China has ordered seven E-190s, with an option for an additional 10 more. U.S. carrier SkyWest has ordered eight E-175 jets to fly for Alaska Airlines, while United Airlines, also from the U.S., ordered 10 E-175 aircraft, with an option for 18 more of the same model. The leasing company Air Castle Limited joined the E-Jets E-2 family, ordering 15 E-190 E-2s and 10 E-195 E-2s, with the same amount of purchase rights for the two models. The E-2 drew the public's attention at the Paris Air Show, with a mock-up model of its cabin shown in the static display. We have announced uh, important orders, uh, about 50 uh, aircraft firm, $2.6 billion in terms of uh, a dollar amount. We are facing a very good momentum, I'd say, so uh, on both E1s and also E2s, and we continue to see a very strong demand uh, for this type of jets. I believe airlines are more and more are identifying new opportunities for these um, you know, aircraft and also identify opportunities to make more money. The airlines are voting with their checkbooks. We've got their support, we've got momentum because we've got the best product and we're delivering it on a constant basis. Dispatch reliability around the world, 99.3%. That speaks to the capabilities of our after-sales support. We found airlines, as they try and optimize their, their fleets, are, are seeing that this is an aircraft type that they need. Um, and we, we're seeing the feedback that they get from the manufacturer and the support. So from a leasing perspective, it's a very good aircraft to own, and from an airline perspective, it creates profitability. Uh, Helvetic Airways, we are always strong in the 100-seat segment, so there is not a lot of choice, and I think Embraer, it's a state-of-the-art aircraft, very economic, uh, good design, and as well, the passenger feedback is very good. We love Embraer's proactive approach to solving problems. They're a great partner. They build great airplanes, and with that combination, we're very happy to add more Embraer 175 to our fleet. Extremely high quality product with extremely good economics and a support team that is our partner who is always honest with us and we know we can believe them and trust them in any circumstance. Together I think we've, we've created something great in terms of us teaching Embraer what a lessor may expect uh, in terms of support for us transitioning aircrafts, uh, lead times and that has really I guess come from the commercial side, but uh, I would say that today the, the, the support that we get from the, on the technical side is, is just as strong, if not stronger, than on the commercial side. So uh, it's, it's taken some time, in all honesty, but uh, we're quite happy at, with the, the way it's turned out. It's not an aircraft that we deliver, but it's a solution, a complete solution of eight different services that, I, by the way, everyone delivers these MRO services, material, uh, technical services, but how you do it. And I think that's what it matters because that one makes a difference is how do you bring the support to your customer. It needs to be close to it, it needs to be flexible, but it needs to be global. And that's what we've been learning over the last 20 years. The Jets um, E2 uh, is uh, much more than a re-engine. It's very important to, to notice that. So on top of uh, uh, state-of-the-art uh, GTF uh, Pratt Whitney engines, uh, we are investing more. So we'll, we'll have brand new state-of-the-art wings, so new wings, uh, full flabby wire systems, uh, uh, and other innovations that will uh, allow us to offer uh, the E2 with up to 24% less fuel burn than the current um, family on a, on a per seat basis and between 15 to 25 lower maintenance costs. So the, the second generation E-Jets will, will provide uh, a big improvement in the economics as compared to the current uh, airplane. When you look at the new generation of, of uh, narrow bodies at the, the 737 MAX, the uh, A320 family, their smaller variants haven't sold very well so far. And so maybe there's an opportunity set to expand there with the, the 195. The first flight show happened in the second half of next year. 
for an entry into service in the first half 2018. This is for the 190E2, which is the first uh, family member to be radiated, followed by the 195 one year later and the 175 the following year.